Hey what's up guys. In today's video we are listing the top 5 best running shoes of 2022. Through extensive research on Amazon products, we have put together a list of options that meet the needs of different types of buyers. On our channel from 1 to 5 we have got you covered. For more information check the box down and don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell, and now let's get started. Designed to give you a competitive edge on race day, the V2 of the Fuel Cell RC Elite delivers a fast ride. You'll look the part, too. Our testers love the styling, and we'd go as far as to say it's one of the best looking shoes in the whole guide. Aesthetics aside, you get the pace and pop you need for race days and speed work sessions, with a healthy amount of Fuel Cell midsole and a full length carbon fiber plate, which has the same rigidity as it did in the first version of this shoe, but with a steeper slope. This, paired with the higher toe spring, gives the Elite V2 more of a rocker effect, although not quite as pronounced as other super shoes on the market. From speed work to half marathons, this performed well while also feeling comfortable and stable underfoot at all times. For me, it feels very similar to the Fuel Cell TC, but offers you more cushioning and more stability on the corners, says McGuire. I'm a huge fan of the Elite V2 and love how, unlike some shoes, it's not just built for logging speedy miles. It feels comfortable and stable during both warm UPS and cooldowns. When a shoe hits version 23, you know it ain't broke, and Cumulus fans can rest assured ASICS hasn't fixed it. The 23 is another versatile, comfortable, everyday go to. There is some evolution, notably in the midsoles, 3D space construction, pillars that compress to different extents, working with your, gender-specific, foot strike. You don't notice the nuances of this on the run, but you do notice a smooth and unobtrusive ride. Heel strikers will enjoy extra shock absorption from the heel's gel unit, while the flight foam midsole material hits a sweet spot on the cushioning continuum, soft enough to excel on slower miles, but enough spring to accelerate through tempo sessions, the plush ankle collar, heel, and tongue at comfort but at the price of the 23 weighing slightly more than the 22. The upper update uses a mesh of differing thicknesses, providing support where it's most needed and breathability elsewhere, while the grip is excellent, even in those ferocious summer downpours, in a world of carbon bells and rocker whistles, this is a dependable staple you can rely on. It goes without saying, you don't have to own multiple pairs of running shoes to be a runner. While some people might invest in multiple pairs for different sessions, if you're new to running or are on a budget, you'll still be able to build fitness and train for races with only one pair in your closet. Plus, if you're looking for that one pair, the Hoka 1-1 Rincon 3 is a brilliant shoe to invest in. A seriously versatile shoe, the Rincon 3 is lightweight enough to wear on faster sessions, but the EVA midsole is cushioned enough to run for miles, should you want to. The third iteration of the Rincon is lighter and more breathable than previous versions, while still having the rocker geometry that rolls the foot forward for a faster. Springier Toe Off At $115, it's also much more affordable than other running shoes on this list. The only downsides we could find here were that the EVA midsole isn't the plushest, and if you're looking for the classic Hoka cushion, you might find it a little on the harder side. That said, if you're looking for an everyday running shoe that's snappier than say, the Nike Pegasus or Ghost 14, this is a brilliant choice. If you're a fan of the swoosh, choosing a pair of the best Nike running shoes can be a tricky choice. While we're a huge fan of the Nike Air Zoom Tempo next for race day, we know not every runner wants to race, which is why the Pegasus 38 sneaked into the top spot here. As a close call between this and the Nike Invincible Run, which is also a brilliant everyday shoe, but when it comes down to it, the Pegasus is just more versatile. It's got a good amount of React foam in the midsole for a lightweight, snappy feel underfoot, without being overly springy and leaving you feeling unstable on the run. The Pegasus is a workhorse, you can wear it for a marathon, your first 5k, and pretty much everything in between. For a shoe to be on its 38th iteration, it must be doing something right and with the Pegasus, you're buying reliability. The 10mm drop means you won't feel the ground underneath your feet too much, but equally, you won't feel like you're running in platforms. The cushion tongue won't cause uncomfortable hot spots or blisters, and the forefoot of the shoe is high and wide, so prevent your toes from rubbing. 
The downside with the Pegasus is that some speedier runners might find it a little meh for tempo sessions and that old school Pegasus fans might not love the introduction of the React foam into the shoe, but if you don't fall into either category, it's well worth the investment. Our best in test award is reserved for shoes that stand out from the crowd, and this is one of them. Judged only by its name and weight, and you'd be forgiven for thinking it is best suited to speed work or racing, but that would seriously underplay this impressively versatile option, which proved as adept on long runs as it did on shorter, faster workouts. Sandwiched inside Saucony's Prun PB cushioning in the midsole is a full-length nylon plate, which offers a propulsive feeling, but is flexible and subtle, with less of the obvious rocker motion typical of carbon-plated shoes, compared with many carbon shoes, the Endorphin Speed 2 offers a more stable, unobtrusive, and sure-footed ride, you feel like you can plant your foot down with confidence. The shoe is finely tuned between cushioning and responsiveness, it's bouncy but you can still feel the road and get plenty of pop from it as you run. In other words, overall, it's a superb all-rounder, a great option for those who only want one pair of running shoes to cover all their bases.